friends and yeah. then like you know like you're the queer one yeah and then you guys get to like a place maybe it's okay. a gay club all right and then you know they, they're coming to support because yeah, they're an ally yes, that's yes. nice okay so you guys are at it because you're yeah. always at the straight clubs yeah, so they better so come like, to you yeah with you, sorry <laughs> yeah so yeah so you guys are there yeah. and then like they start kissing all <laughs> it's like baby you're straight Hello. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Gugu and I'm here with the love of my life. Get up, you and we are your, your favorite, favorite queer, queer couple. couple. So today we are doing a sit down video and we have a story time on something that happened yesterday. Um, like, um, I want to say a, a homophobic incident that we went through yeah. that we experienced yeah. yesterday at a restaurant and afterwards um i'm just going to speak through how i reacted in the situation and how i feel like i could have been a better ally to get um and then afterwards we're also just going to read through because uh on instagram i asked you guys like months ago the beginning of the year yes how you guys as queer people would want people to be better allies yeah. to you i think this was for june for pride month but yeah. then we're doing it now in october the south african pride month um so i'm going to read through those and then we're going to talk through uh, those how we feel about that and our added points yeah. um and yeah basically that is today's video yeah so sit back grab the popcorn and let's tell you guys the story the right story time okay so um we're at this restaurant so this happened yesterday yesterday mm -hmm. right so we're filming still fresh still fresh mm -hmm. it's a saturday mm -hmm. the sun is out i go on the group i'm like hey hey yo sun's up let's go have fun people are like cool 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 from five o'clock let's go yeah. all right we get there google and i we're looking cute shame we're the first ones there so it's like uh, we hang out with our friends yes basically. yeah people you know want drinks mm. and stuff ah cool. we're gonna say which restaurant we went to yeah, it was La Parada and Rosebank. Yeah. And I really mm. love the La Parada and Rosebank. It's, it's quite so nice. New. Yeah, it's new, it's it, fresh. And it has a nice yeah. outside area. Honestly, like it's, it's like very safe because they have the glass as well right there. So, so we get there. And it's a younger vibe. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yes. So we get there. Yeah. And the Give them a five. Right? Yeah, this so, is five. Yes. Because it, it will add to the context as well. Five, okay. we get a drink, Google and I are waiting for. So we arrive. And then I just want to set the tone. First. Okay. We arrive and the host is very nice. Very, yeah. She's very friendly. We sit down. Yeah. Um, we tell her waiting for our friends. So everything is going good at this point. We even get a waiter um, yeah. who keeps cu coming to ask us, like, do you guys want to order drinks? Because yeah. we're waiting for them. And he was nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then I wait, wait, wait. You know, people come late. I'm like, ah, let's get our first round, right? Sidebar, it's like sober, but I, I'm doing like sober, Google's not doing sober, but Never how I'm it. doing like sober mm -hmm. is I just limited to one drink when I go out. So I don't have zero, I have one. So basically, she's not doing like sober. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. right? so, but I get my drink of whiskey yeah. sour. I will always put the La Parada whiskey sour on, like, I always say, guys, that one, right? Yeah. Cool, yeah. I'm excited, I won't go up around and not get it, cool. Anyway, back to the story. Yes, yes, this is 5 o'clock, this yes. is 6 o'clock. Friends come, guys, we laughing. People, we're having a beautiful uh, time. 6 o'clock, friends each are each other day. in a long time. Yeah, actually, really So we just, time. like, it's nice to see each other, yes. catch up. So in total, there's six people. There's six of us. Yes. All of us are female. Yes. Right? Um... And then, yeah, of sexualities are not important. But I'm the only one that is masculine presenting, mm -hmm. which is usually the case when we're out with Google's friends. Mm -hmm. Right? Cool, we're chilling. Now, again, the sun is out. The sun is somewhere in there. Sun is set. Sun yes. is set. It's gone. It's, now it's the night time. It's the night time. We still have half a good seven. time. We still have a good yes. time. Yes, half seven to eight. Half yeah. seven to eight, past eight. We've been there since five, right? Yeah, Three so we've hours. been having a good time for hours. Drinks have been going. Shots have been... You know, <laughs> food has been eaten. Yes. Like, Wrapped the vibe up. is genuinely great. Yeah. How? And then... Now, right, it's chilling, and then it's the, and, it's the no, couch sorry, section. Sorry, Let me just finish the It's the yeah. couch section. I just want to put the seating. Yeah. It's the couch section, and we're sitting in the U, right? Yes. We're sitting in the U, and then there's a way, a pathway where someone can walk. So, so yeah. the U is facing that pathway. Okay, yes. Cool. So, 
up until now the only people we've been interacting with are our waiter obviously the and the hostess so she comes to that check mm. hey guys still okay so you know that's those are the only yeah, people and our we've been interacting also. with yes yeah. cool. great time so then obviously who it's getting dark and then how from the corner of my eye right I, I see this like big man dressed in all black, right? And then he looks at me and I just go, hello. I just do this, right? How I'm thinking it's done because I'm swinging back to the conversation here. Yeah. And then because I. Because why would you interact yes, with anyone yes, other than your waiter <laughs> and the host at a restaurant? Yes. And the people you are at the restaurant with. Literally. Cool. Right? Cool. So, and I go sitting next to me on the couch here, yeah, right? He's sitting next yeah. to me. Yeah. So, how? Then this guy. So, this big man All is black. a bouncer. Yes. That's why he's wearing yes. a black suit. Yes. All right? Yeah. Cool. He's the bouncer of yes. the restaurant. And then, after that, how? We just hear this guy. Um, we stop, and then he's like, and he's stop. like, hey, hey, how are you? How's everyone, right? And then after that, we're like, yeah, okay, cool. We're like, fine. Like, like, okay, so we're we're fine. fine. Yeah. yeah. And then no, literally said, are you guys fine? Then everyone yeah. said we fine, but we done. We think he's just checking on us. Yeah, and then he which gets, is odd because he's a bouncer, but yes. it's like okay, whatever. Cool. And then he's like, yo, 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 um, a man needs to be here. And I'm like. Like a man, they, they, you still need a man here. Yeah, you need a man yes. in this mix. Can't us, just be you guys. All of us now. That's when I eyes. felt for him. You so know? then, one thing, my pet peeve, right? And mm -hmm. men like to do this. My pet peeve is, mm -hmm. my pet peeve is literally men seeing women having a conversation, mm -hmm. or people that aren't men having a conversation, and they think that they should be included, or they interrupt. Yes, men always interrupt. Like, they don't have, they're not complacent of the fact that I can't just interrupt people's conversation. Yes. It's literally like, that's Dude. why, that, literally, that's why when like, managers come to check, they're like, hey guys, are you good? Yeah. And then they quickly go, because it's like, I can't be standing here yeah. now interrupting you. Yeah. But that like, he's doing that, he's interrupting. Yes, so he instantly did. I'm annoyed because my head peeve. Yeah. And then I just go behind Gary Like, so basically like, I'm, I'm just chilling like this. Yeah. Because I'm annoyed and I'm just like, I'm basically blocking it out. Because yes. I'm waiting for him to finish his chat and go and then we can move on with the day. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And then, so then, like everyone keeps quiet, right? And then I, in my head, I don't really. I think someone was like. Him what and then he yes. repeated himself and then yes. i think they were like oh is it so that they can pay yes I think that's the yes and it's so, mm -hmm. so you know what i mean and then another f friend of ours um she's like okay it's fine now like it's amaya like wrap it up it's Bye. Like that the conversation's done he's leaving and then he like just ignores her right and then he's like points at me right and then he's like yeah but this one this one i know her she has a mind of a man Right, so like literally, like you see that silence, like it, all of us. That was their silence. Yes, like we. But just, keep in mind, guys, goodness. I'm literally like this, and I've done. I've literally, I have this thing where I literally will block out things because I don't want to hear that person, especially I'm my daughter, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so I didn't hear this. Me, I when I left, mm -hmm. the conversation was still about him saying a man needs to be here, and a lot of men do that thing, and I hate that mm -hmm. thing of would see they'll be like, oh, can I come join you guys? Oh, men need to be here. Like so, I just that's where I left the conversation, and I was like, oh, he's annoying. He's gonna go away. Everything's gonna be fine. So me, when I come back up, I'm thinking he's gone amazing. Wait, baby, skipping. Yeah. That's skipping. Yeah, like okay. wait. So as soon as he says that, mm -hmm. we all keep quiet, yes. right? And then everyone goes, ay, 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 right? And then he looks at me, and I think it's that thing where men always expect women to laugh or chuckle when they did something wrong. So we all just kept quiet. And then I just looked at him and I was like, that's not nice, right? I just said, that's not nice, right? And then they were like, leave, 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 leave. Now your part. Yes, yeah. this is where I come up. Yeah. Okay, so this is me. You know, ignorance is bliss, honey. Yeah. I'm still like thinking we're moving on with the day. We're still having a kiki at the yeah. table. And then I see everyone's face is just a little bit weird. Because <laughs> the last thing I heard, because yeah. one of our friends is loud, yeah. the last thing I heard was her saying, that's disgusting. Yeah, so I'm thinking oh, she's saying that's disgusting to him saying, yeah. oh, a man needs to be here, a man yeah. needs to be here. So yeah. I'm coming up glad that he's gone. Yeah. I'm just going to, you know, move on with the day yeah. and whatever. So then I come back up and I told my friends are looking at me like, did you hear that? Mm. I'm like, 
white, right? Like, yeah, white. And mm -hmm. also, white made me feel like something is off is because they kept saying, oh, sorry, Kia, sorry, <laughs> Kia. So, man, I'm like, why are they apologizing to her? Like, <laughs> to my girlfriend, yeah. First of all, he insulted all of us. <laughs> so, why are you putting the attention on her? Like, that you're you being with. Like, <laughs> So I'm just looking at them like, yeah. like, what did he say? And then they were like, that's not okay. Did you even hear yeah, that? Yeah. And now I'm even getting like, <laughs> like, so what, like, did what? What, did like what did he say? Yeah. And then one of my friends was like, he said, he uh, directed it at Gia and he said, um, this one has a mind of a man. Yeah. I said, <laughs> my brain did this. <laughs> I didn't hear anything after that. That's when I stopped hearing anything. Uh -huh. After that, I just saw red. Yeah. And I was just up. All I know is I stood up and I walked Very to him. fast. Impressive. Apparently, I was walking fast. I thought I was moving normally. I just stood up and I was gone. Yeah. Straight, straight to him. Straight to the entrance. In my mind, this has just happened. Yeah. This straight happened to the entrance. five seconds ago. Yeah. So I'm still able to react. Yes. And really understand what he what do you mean yeah right so also i'm annoyed at myself at this point because i'm like i can't believe i didn't hear it in the moment like i'm actually also very annoyed at myself and i feel kind of guilty like i was supposed to stand up for her and because i didn't hear it i didn't so now i'm just like mm -mm. uh-uh uh-uh i'm no, literally no, i'm chasing him now yeah. <laughs> he does he has no idea about this yeah. so now he I get them. Yeah. He's standing at the door now. When you should have stood yeah. the whole time because that's literally your job. But yeah. yeah. And he's at the door now. And where the host is as well. Yeah. So I'm literally like charging to him. Mm. And then I'm like, what did you say? And he's like, what? Now he's looking shocked. Mm. Like, I was like, what did you say to my girlfriend? And then he's like, I didn't say I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say now he's denying the whole thing. It's like it's made up. Yeah. Right? And then but okay. just before I literally get to him, yeah. my friend is already in front of me. So she's blocking him. So I'm talking yeah. to him, but I'm literally having to talk to him like this yeah. because she's trying to like block me away, which yeah. I was not trying to fight him. I would never try to fight a big ass man, yeah. but I was just trying to understand what like, what did you say? Yeah. And like, why did you say it? Yeah. Um. So now she's blocking me. She's like, it's a, a scene, a yeah. bit of a scene. <laughs> So now the hostess is like, what's what's going on? What's yeah. going on? So then I think my friend explains to her. Like yeah. honestly, I remember this in like patches because yeah. everything was just going fast. I think my friend explains to her what happened. And then she I saw her face, she was like, oh shoot. Yeah. And then she uh, she looks at the bounce and she's like, Don't talk to them. Do yeah. not talk to them. And then she comes to me, she's like, I'm so sorry about all of this i really i think she's talking to more to my friend because she yeah. can see me i'm not into saying i'm literally i'm coming for i want to i want to speak to the person who said it yeah um so then she was just like yeah I don't, like i'm so sorry i'm so so now she's just saying i'm so sorry whatever and then ugh, i'm just i'm just like i'm over this and then i leave yeah because also my friend's blocking me i'm not yeah. even able to really speak to this man so like the, what am i even doing so yeah. then i leave turn back yes um to our table so i walk yeah. around back and my friend is obviously like oh whew. um now we can go yeah. to the table and unpack it she's yes. not going to him anymore yeah so she lets her guard down and then she goes back to the table yes um i don't know if we went different ways because i don't understand oh no we were both walking yeah and then i turn back, back. inside okay in that side of the restaurant because we're okay. still outside yes. i turn back inside so I, I guess she assumes i'm going to the bathroom yes um which i was still contemplating should i go to the bathroom and yeah. just chillax try okay. try breathe or should i go back to him okay now that i'm alone she's okay. left me alone now yeah and then i chose to go back to him oh yeah and then i'm like you know that thing where like people keep blocking you yeah. and you can't just speak to the person because yes. you just want to get it done yeah and then when those people are, their guard is done yeah. you see their friends where people stop them from like in the sale again then two seconds they're like <laughs> They run when, and they when they run to They always say they always make. You know, and they always say that no, because I'm not sharp. Guys, get sharp. That's, that's all I was saying. Like, guys, I was like, shop. I'm not gonna do anything. I just wanna, I just wanna talk. I really wasn't gonna do. I just wanted to understand. And then, yeah, and then hear yeah. it with my own ears. Yeah. 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 And then I was like, okay, okay, guys, okay, guys, 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 gu
Um, then I go back to him. Yeah. Now I'm just like spewing. At this um, point, I'm already there. Also. Really? Yeah. The second time you went there, I'm behind Google now. I'm trying to calm her down. So the second time you saw that I didn't go to the bathroom. Yeah. You followed me. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I'm watching her. I wasn't aware yeah. of this. Okay. So now, I'm, yeah. So now I'm, I'm like I'm talking to him. Like, yeah. what did you say? And I yeah. don't know what else I was saying. Like, and then I was like, okay. So I, I just, I think phobic. now. Yeah. Already. Yes. Hexic. I don't yeah. know that. But now I had decided clearly because the first time my friend when he said i didn't say anything my friend looked at me she's like he's lying yeah. and then she was like to him you're lying yeah. so you're calling me a liar because yeah. i heard you with my own ears yeah so now when i've gone back i've decided you know what i'm not gonna ask him because yeah. he's lying i'm gonna tell him yeah that he said it and then okay. i'm gonna tell him that that's not okay yeah that's bullshit and it's homophobic, uh, it's homophobic. Yeah. goodbye that's exactly what i did i'm there i'm telling him i'm telling him then i was done with him then yeah. i went to the bathroom to cool off yeah and then, I and then that's when she came into the yeah. bathroom and then we spoke and then when i saw her then i just immediately felt some kind of not regret or remorse but i'm not able to find the right word right now so i don't know yeah regret or remorse or something in between yeah um because i was just like i wish i had just turned to her her mm. and been like what would you like me to do in this situation? Because this person hurt you, they harmed you, or they were violent towards you. Yeah. So what would you like me to do? And I'm sorry that that happened to you. Um, so that's what I told on the bottom once you said. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm done. I'm, I'm coming down now. But I just want to check in with you, like, how are you? How are you doing? And I'm really sorry. I should just come straight to you and be like, how do you want me to proceed? If you want me to go charge at him and scream, I'll do it. If you want me to sit here, I'll do it. Whatever you want, whatever you need in this moment, I will do that. But that's not what I did. Mm -hmm. I just instinctively was like, no, yeah. I'm going to yeah. confront this person. I'm very angry. And that's what I did. So yeah, that's basically what happened. And then afterwards, my friends were obviously like supporting her, and they were, were like, "We're definitely leaving." Yeah. Like when really mm -hmm. the first time I went to that man, yeah. my friend was already like, "We're leaving." Yeah. We're gonna get the bill. And we're leaving. Yeah. So now I uh, we, we can, I come back to the seat. We both come back. We're sitting with everyone, and then like now the manager's involved, and he's apologizing, and my friend is like, "An apology is not enough. The bouncer has to cover something on the bill." Yeah. And then. Yeah, basic. That was the chat, and then what else happened? And then so the manager decides that um, his way also, apart from compensation, is to get the bouncer to come and actually apologize to to Google, us. I guess, or to us, because he was speaking to Google, I guess. Mm. And that's when now they came back, and then he came this bouncer, and he was like oh i'm very sorry i was told to come apologize and i'm very sorry and then and that I, I just i that irritated me also because i thought like you're not going to come to me and say i'm apologizing because i was told to apologize are you mad like what kind of apology is that and why am i supposed to accept it so i literally told him okay fine so since you're apologizing are you admitting that you did it yeah and he's like, no. And then I was like, okay, did you say it? And he says, I don't remember. I said, the yeah. good sir, there's no ways you done forgot, but this happened 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Johnny, you forgot what you said 10 minutes ago. Yeah. So really I was annoyed. I was like, this is a bullshit an apology. But, um, and then like, because he brought another bouncer with him and the manager. So now it's three men standing in front of us. Now it's causing a scene. Yeah. And then it just clicked to me that this is now a scene. This is actually kind of just embarrassing for the person going through it. And I was like, okay, this conversation is redundant. Let's leave it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it's not. It doesn't matter. Let's leave it. Cool. And then I guess they leave. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then Google and I just walk out. And then we go to. Um, yeah. And then I yeah. left. And, then, and then, just, then I was like, she should just. Yeah. Leave. I'll pay the bill and then we'll go to the yeah. next place since we're leaving this establishment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I don't know. I think for me, the only before you start like your reflection as well, I think. For me, it's number one, it's the fact that like 
as a masculine presenting person um it's not the first time this has happened to me right um it, since the day i stepped into my masculineness i felt the the vibrations i felt energies in every space that i walk into that oh okay these people they realize how i look and you know what i mean they some people have said comments or whatever but i think this was the first time that um just unprovoked it's so directed at me like sometimes i can see people's eyes and i'll see that they're making comments to the people that they were but this was the first time that it was directed to me and it was explicit and it was very explicit usually right? it's like undertones yeah just, it's, it's just vibes yeah you know so i think that was it and then my reaction was just like just being like nah not laughing it off not making him feel comfortable because i'm actually he, very proud of you that's yeah. a very big thing that's very hard mm. a lot of us just laugh things off that yeah. make us so uncomfortable yeah. and i'm so proud of you for being like that's not nice yeah because i just told him like that's not nice because yeah. he look and i think it's that thing also of um men always kind of look for in a space they look for someone that will that is also validate. masculine that will validate like yeah nonsense. and then i said but you can't make a joke out of me and then expect me to still give you that so that's how i was just like that's not nice bro like that's all i said and i left it there and the reason that i left it there is because that was as much as i was willing to engage with it but at the same time because i'm 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 this person i'm in this body and i walk like this in these clothes every day it's 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 not nice but it's not new which is yeah. sad but it's not nice but it's not new so it's like uh, i'm still gonna have a good time i actually wanted to just chill Same. have a good time and then i think the last point before you can start unpacking is just also like the humiliation when he said it i didn't feel as humiliated and, and i want to thank google's friends as well because they really validated at that point even though google didn't hear everyone was like offside 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 you know i think the humiliation just kept as the scenes progressed and everyone was so heightened yeah you're homo you're homophobic to her to her and it's like keep pointing at me and then everyone in the restaurant now other people that are also just chilling now i'm like this this lesbian girl that's masculine presenting in the space i think i just got reduced to that throughout that whole entire process and i think it was like the hostess when i came to go and go went to the um to this man the second time around she literally looked at me when she knew us and she asked me are you okay i'm sorry and i literally told her like i'm not okay but i will be i think she really like humanized and saw me very quickly um in that space you know which was like okay cool yeah but for the whole time it just felt like i was just reduced to being just this thing yeah and it's just like a spectacle for people just to be like and that adds more like the people who maybe were already unhappy with my like you add fuel you give people the space now to either agree with this man or disagree with him and apart from the people that were at the table the six people all of the other patrons no it's not like everyone rallied and stood for me and was like yes you wrong no one did that but it just the attention was always on us on me and for what i don't know for no reason yeah damn that is a lot to digest and i'm sorry i did that mm -hmm. i'm very sorry okay so um i'm gonna unpack like my thoughts on like my reaction and everything and how I feel like I just could have reacted better, like basically be a better ally. Mm -hmm. um, even though I'm also queer, but yeah, like in that moment, <laughs> um, in that moment, like just be a better ally to her or just be a better partner or a better sub, whatever you yeah. get me. Um, so I just feel like there's this thing, right? When someone disrespects offends someone that you love yeah. or someone that you're very close to or someone that you someone that you care about mm -hmm. i think you get you just see red like you get really just like angry mm -hmm. you go from zero to 100 
Whereas when you're the one being disrespected, yeah, there are times where you still go from zero to 100 depending on the level of disrespect. But there's this level of like, yeah, like this person, they are the problem. Like yeah. if them, I'm gonna move on with my day. I'm gonna keep having a good day. Yeah. Like why the hell is this person on the road hooting at me? I'm, <laughs> I don't care type of vibe right yeah. but like like when it's someone that you care about i don't know what it i don't know what it is i'm sure there's a term for it whatever yeah. but it's like you just completely lose all sense and you're just like and you, and you just want to fight for them or you just want to protect them or you want to yeah you want to fight for them mm -hmm. so i think that's what just like came over me um and i mean we discussed it this morning and i realized that like it obviously wasn't new like it's not the first time this has happened but as she said like it's never been like someone comes up to us and says something offside. It's always just like energies, vibes, or yeah. you see people's looks, so you just you can sense Korea, mm. these people. Um, so this like I think maybe it was just my first time experiencing that, and therefore that was my reaction. Yeah. Um, but in terms of I would never react like that again. Like I feel like I've, I've, I've made the I've made the decision not to react like that again. Not that I feel like my reaction was completely wrong. Yeah. I I am not a good person because I no. do know it's it's like no. I was validating reacting that way. Really, it was yes. wrong, but I am making the decision that that's not how I want to react. Um, I feel like, as she said, like it, it just when it becomes a scene, sometimes when you're the one it was targeted to, it's not a nice feeling because like the attention is on you and it's not good attention. It's a very negative attention, and that's why I guess as a better ally, I was supposed to just like. A better ally. I was just supposed to look at her and be like, "I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Do you want us to leave? What would you like me to do? Do you want me to go confront him? Do you want to go home? Do you want to go to another restaurant? Do you want us to just sit here and ignore it? What do you want us to do? Because yeah. it's about you. But as her partner, I took it upon myself <laughs> to just yeah and. Yeah. That's not necessarily what she would have wanted. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I feel like it's also just a learning curve. Like I'm yeah. not being too, too hard on myself. I'm just being intentional about learning from it and being like, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Also, it really took a lot of energy out of me. That's and I feel like name. he wasn't worth it. That's such a weight that people, like people, <laughs> those situations aren't worth it for yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, like we have, we have limited energy yeah. in our lives. We have limited time, we have limited energy, we have limited everything. Um, and I would therefore would like to allocate my energy to other things. Like I have an adult, yeah. I have responsibilities, I have work, I have study, I need to wash the dishes, yeah. I need to cook. Like that is not one of the things I want to waste my energy on. Yeah. I would rather have redirected that energy to just asking my partner, are you okay? Yeah. And supporting my partner and not fight some random man. Yeah. Okay? Um, yeah, and yeah, that's how, that's just how I feel, and I feel like it would have been better. Like, I think it was like as we discussed it this morning, yeah. I feel like it was more from the ego. Like, mm. I was just like acting from the ego, and I was just angry, and I was yeah. just like, mm, yeah. versus just being like, Whew, let's think about this. Yeah. How am I feeling? How is she feeling? Like. Just also like I'm human, so yes. it's fine. If I you, will do better fine. next time. Hopefully there is no next time, but yeah. if there is, I will do better next yeah. time. But also there was alcohol. There was it that was dark. Too, that's, we like I think, I, was think I was I had drank quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that makes like a difference. I'm yeah. starting to realize that like, when there's a lot of alcohol yeah. involved, I do feel like all the there must be no conflict. Yes. Everything must be happy. Happy, happy for things to stay happy. good. Like yeah. Conflict, they go, conflict and alcohol don't go hand go, in hand. You will never resolve it properly. No. It's going to be heightened. Yes. Everyone's going to be very angry. Yeah. So I just, I had drank a lot and it was at night and uh, yeah. that's how I reacted. But I'm very grateful that everyone was um, safe. safe. No one was I'm, harmed. I'm very grateful for that. The, um, the stuff, apart from that individual, mm. the bouncer, they really tried, I feel like. They so were also the shocked. Gosh. Everyone was just shocked. Like, it's just why was he talking in the first place? No one knows. Guys, have you, you know? ever been a Russian and then the bouncer is coming around <laughs> asking you questions? No. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I think a closing statement from my side, and this is me just being extremely honest, 
is that as a masculine presenting person, these microaggressions and these feelings have been more heightened in Joburg as um, versus Cape Town. And I think it's quite sad because, or it, it speaks to a lot of things that we already know, obviously as queer people, as we unpack, sometimes we just don't have, have the correct terms, but I really do feel like um, homophobia and just men feeling like they own black women, black men in Johannesburg feeling like they have ownership of black women is truly, truly so violent that in spaces that if someone steps in and they have this frame of masculinity but isn't in the bodies that they are in or that, you know what I mean? They, it's violent. And I don't think it's, it's, it's violence for a lot of reasons, but it's something that I've always felt. Remember even I told you, like there was a big thing um, even when we were considering to move to um, Joburg that I truly considered because when I would visit um, Joburg last year, I always, in Joburg, I always feel that I am gay. Was it in Cape Town throughout varsity, everything? It wasn't something that I felt first and foremost, but in Joburg, in every split setting that I go to, especially here in the North, you feel it. You feel it that, oh, I'm gay. I'm yeah. gonna walk in with Gugu and these men are gonna stare at me the whole night. The whole time. The whole night, you know? And I think that it's very violent. It's very scary. You you never know. Like, literally, that's what I told Gugu. You, we don't know. We could be walking down. We don't know this man. Yeah. We don't know his connection. And I am not going we don't back know, there for you us, know? For um, our safety. Like, we don't, for our safety. Yeah. Like that. Um, yeah. And I think uh, part of a way that I then deal with this and ever since I stepped into my queerness has been to just stay out of black men's way. Eh. And that's been... I think that is why I am standing And that's why when they come into your way, that's why when they come into your way, it's very upsetting. <laughs> because... I've been out of it. I, You're coming into my giant. It's very rare, like even if I get to a space that you'll ever see me talking to women. Sorry. I don't even talking share that. No, I'm just oh. saying like in spaces where let's say I'm alone or if I'm single or whatever yeah. and we at a club or I will never even hit on someone because that's how much I'm like, yo, I'm staying out of your way, my boy. Okay. These, Unless yeah. it's application, like, no, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think it's just I don't know. I don't know. Like I'd really like in the comment section below just for people to tell us like when you're masculine presenting, like how how do you how do you deal with this thing of navigating these spaces, you know? Um, and then have you guys in your couples, you know, um, dating a masculine presenting person have you ever felt like you have to stand up for them because that is using a part of your privilege right um True. in that sense because if i went to him he would have punched me yes yes, um, yes, so, <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> so i think also <laughs> i've been struggling to articulate yeah. that but i think that's what i was trying to do yeah because it's like I have the privilege of mm. when I go to up to a man, he doesn't see me as threatening, he mm. doesn't get an, annoyed at the outfit that I'm wearing, mm. therefore he's not going to instantly think, let me punch her. Yeah. So I was trying to do that, but then at the same time, it's like, I, I may have used my privilege not in the right way because mm. you're first supposed to ask the oppressed person, hey, how would you like me to deal with it? Yeah. Versus... I'm gonna deal with that how I want to know. Not <laughs> yeah. really, don't do that. Yeah. So yeah, let us know what you think, obviously. Um non-judgment um to my partner, please. Please don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> like please. Don't um, do yeah, that. Don't do that because I think it's always easy to be like you should have, you could have it happened and that's it and we learn from and it's it it's always easy when you're not in <laughs> yeah. the situation yeah. yourself yeah. Yeah. and you haven't had three shots and a bit of shampoo oh, oh. exactly <laughs> <Don't> yeah <try laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> but that's it and i think from my side i always i've been telling her since last night you did nothing wrong I know, right I know. but you did nothing wrong we didn't know it was heightened my baby. yeah and everyone you, felt you everyone never learned. literally and also being around my friends really like because <laughs> there was when I came back up, uh, their faces were like, "Did you hear?" Like, yeah, what? Yeah, what? And now obviously I'm mad as hell. The anger's gotta go somewhere, you know? Because so, your story's getting long, but I think <laughs> also like, um, yeah, because I just told Google like, had it just been the two of us, I don't, I don't think, think I would have reacted that way. <laughs> 
yeah yeah so but yeah guys this life thing is interesting it's tricky um we live and we learn and we every day um as a black woman as a, a queer person in south africa coming back home safely is truly a blessing and that is a reality um, wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's the story time, and now we are going to read. Um, what was your, What's the question you asked them? So I asked everyone, how would you like people around you to be better allies? Yeah. And yeah. we're just going to read to you what people said. We're gonna give a quick brief mm -hmm. <laughs> um, comment, but please in the comment section down below, tell us what you think about. Um, how people can how be people and too. what what about the ones that we're reading now? Oh, my English is left side, okay. but yeah, that's the one. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the first one yeah. is allies shouldn't out people. No, obvious. So I feel like that's a definite like basic. Yeah, uh, that's an obvious one. Like there's basics for allies. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, it's actually the bare minimum. Mm. So if you're outing people as an ally, I don't even think you're an ally. That's Literally. not even in the definition. <laughs> I think because yeah, yeah. you are actually messing my life up yeah. right now. Yeah. So I just feel like as a, but I do think it's a valid one because I think people out people without even thinking about That's it the thing. deeply. That's the like thing. it's not even like a deep thing, like you have you holding a press conference yeah. and you're <laughs> No, it can even be like you're chatting to a friend yes. and then your friend's like, Oh, is she gay? And yeah. you're like also it's 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 the yeah, it's done. <laughs> that is outing someone. It's Literally. obviously not as deep as like you typing yeah. a paragraph yes. and like and sending it to a group of friends. Your story, but, but you're outing someone. It's, it's sharing information about someone that they didn't want you to share. Yeah, and it's sensitive information yeah. because of the society we live in. Yes. So I feel like genuinely, like if you know your yeah. friend hasn't told that person, then they don't, don't want that person to know. Do Unless your friend has told you, I'm out, you can tell anyone yeah, you want. Then, yeah. of course, that's not outing someone. True, but true. if that person's asking me, it probably means they shouldn't know. Because <laughs> why are they asking? Also, they should know already. Yeah. Also, just say, I don't know. I just be like, how? Why don't you ask them? Yeah. And or be like, I actually don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I feel like saying, why don't you ask them? It means, yeah, they are. Oh. <laughs> so just be like, ask I don't them? know. I don't want to say it. But <laughs> I, don't don't wanna say it. Wanna, I don't want to blow so much now. That just say yeah, I don't know. Don't, no. don't out, out people, yeah. guys. Ugh, bottom. It's boring. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, another one is stop misgendering people. Respect pronouns. Please. I think that's a very important yeah, one. True. Um, very important one. Yeah, because I think that also <clears throat> what I'm also reading from this is people can accept you, right? But it's like you need to accept the person in their entirety. You can't just be like, I'm fine. And, ugh, I accept you the way you are. And then I tell you, hey, this is my gender. And then now you keep. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are, are my pronouns. These are my and then you, you keep. Yeah, like it's. Using the wrong ones. Yeah. So I feel like even if, like, let's say, let's say someone identifies as the gender that they were assigned at birth. Yeah. And they say, like me, if yes. I identify as a woman, but yeah. if I said my pronouns are they, them, I don't have to be non-binary or transform yes. me to say my pronouns are they, them. Yeah. You still have to respect them. Yes. You don't get to be like, no, but that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't have to make sense to you. I'm telling you, yeah. just accept it. And then mm -hmm. I also understand that it's hard. Like, it's a little bit... It's a shift, especially yes. if you've known someone for years or yeah. we've of of course through our primary school, all of we're us were just using literally. he, she, yeah. he, yeah. she and that's all we're doing. Yeah. So it's hard, but put in the work and do it. And yeah. then um I listened to Nozimanga's uh podcast, um, and they said something very important. Mm. They said like just um try to always use they them until you know the person's pronouns and we've been I trying agree. that yeah. and we do, like agree. if we're talking about someone we don't know yeah. or someone we just we've yeah, seen but we don't know them we've never interacted yeah. so we don't know their pronouns just use they them yeah, uh until you know yeah you know and yeah. i think that's good practice yeah i agree um and then another one is be inclusive um okay. it's not it's kind of general not really they yeah. didn't elaborate okay. but I agree. Yeah. What, 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 what does that mean? Or oh, examples yeah. of like, I think in spaces, there's always spaces where you're like, if you see that certain groups of people aren't included, you should yeah. feel a bit off about it. Yes. It's yes. like if, True. if at True. work, when they, um, like in work meetings, yeah. when they say, there was this lady, we had like a meeting yeah. at work, 
like those big ones, man. Yes. Where it's like a lot of people, it's a training. Okay. And then she was like, "Yeah, oh, I met my husband this way, this way." Yeah. Um, girls, if you want to meet a a husband, this is you should really like. I think she met her husband on internet dating, and then she was like, "Yo, yeah, guys, you guys, uh, ladies, you should really like." Be open to it, because you see, I also met my husband. If you guys want to meet husbands, it's like not all women are trying to meet husbands. <laughs> I was not trying to meet a husband, and she put me in that pool, and I am a woman. So I was I like, so it. things like that. Where it's yeah. just like, be inclusive in your language. Yes, that's the thing. Also, just be inclusive in platforms. Like yeah, you cannot true. host a whole panel about relationships, and you don't include <laughs> people. So you're not hosting about relationships. You're you hosting about straight relationships. Say my panel is about heterosexual relationships. Yes. Then none of us will marry you because you are very specific. Those Instagram pages, black love, and it's just straight couples. Okay. So we ain't black, huh? But for me, how I also take it, so just to add on, is in your friendship circles. I really do feel like sometimes straight people overpower the conversations. Like let's say it's a group of people, we have different sexualities, different um, like relationship experiences. I really do feel like straight people sometimes ask your queer friend, hey, actually, how's, how's, love life? how's how, how are the streets treating you? Like we can't every day hear about you guys. We hear it on Twitter, we hear it every day. Baby, when we I know, on my TV. We know, we know. We so know. kind of inclusivity for me is also about leaning forward and that quiet person in the room to be like, what do you think? Yeah. Say something. Yeah. It's not just putting someone I have queer friends, but you actually never know about you don't their engage experiences. With them on that level. Yes, like it's about gauging with also a person fully. And for the heterosexual people who don't understand, it's exactly like black people yes. how in meetings white yes. people will overpower every meeting every conversation yes. we know white experiences <laughs> we understand their Literally. lives but they understand nothing yes. about us because if they never don't asked, know anything about our experiences never asked they nothing. it doesn't seem like yes. they care so and, yeah. it's like if you care show that yes. you care be active in your caring. Literally. Your caring can't just be passive. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, but in our meetings with yes. black people, do no. they speak? Literally. If they don't, what is the Literally. point? Oh, I have gay friends, but you, oh, the whole time your gay friend was here about you dating this guy, dating that guy, dating that. <sighs> Anywho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The next one is um, defend the LGBTQIA. Plus. Pla there's no plus. But yeah. plus community. Yeah, no. Um, we can't always fight, eh? So I think, yes, this one is a very big, important one. Um, definitely defend. If you're going to say you're an ally, show it. Mm -hmm. um, defend me, even when I'm not there. Defend mm -hmm. me. Um, when I'm there. When I'm there, defend me. Also, you can't have a homophobic boyfriend and be an ally. Or you can't have a, a homophobic girlfriend and a homophobic be an ally. partner. You can't have a homophobic yeah. partner and be an ally. Yeah. Um, that's that doesn't that's make important. sense. That's important. I don't, I don't even care what you have to say. You can argue with your mom. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> you actually can argue with, with the your tree. mama. I don't care. <laughs> Argue with the rock, please, because I'm not arguing on this one. Yeah. I've said it, it's a fact. Yeah. You cannot yeah. have a queer phobic partner <laughs> and be an ally. It don't make no sense. It cancels <laughs> out. That's the mathematics. It cancels out. What so, plus one is zero. Exactly. So that's it. They are, yeah. That's another one. Like, yeah. Because then you're not defending me. Because no. your defense would be you telling your partner you yeah. have got to unlearn this. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Very important guys, please yo, hold on to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one is yeah. uh this person said, Don't try and understand. Respect it, Ka. Oh. I hate people who wanna understand. And I'm with you. Yo. I am with you. Yo. No, I'm not going to answer hundred questions yes. so you can understand me yes. and my life. Yeah. No. Yeah. You don't have to understand no. anything. Just respect it yes. and let's move on. Yes. Okay. And I think that And if you want to understand, do it at your in yes. your own time. Yeah. Um my job is not to make you to change how you see this thing. That is not my purpose on yes. I'm just telling you to respect yes. it. Yes. I'm telling you this is who I am. And that's respect it. Respect it and then we'll live and our we're lives. And we're not gonna negotiate on who I am. Exactly. That's that's who I, I that's am. We put it and I put a period after yes. that. That's the end of the discussion. Yeah. 
you just have to respect it because yeah. I deserve respect yeah. as a human being. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that it's was, quite that was, simple. I love that one. It encapsulates a lot. Yes. And this person who said this is yeah. an ally. Yes. Um, so they said yeah. not to literally ignore my own advice, but including yourself as an ally in spaces, mm. even when you're purposefully excluded. Oh, okay. so I, I get this one in terms of like sometimes allies want to be involved too much like I <laughs> sometimes it's okay to sit back and yeah. observe and the queer people can be yes. in the limelight it's not about you yeah um yeah yeah I, I don't know I oh, think, what's your take on I think for me it's it's just learning when to speak and when not to speak yes because you are an ally yeah sometimes it's just you going to um, an event or a talk or something or a showcase you know let's say it's a poetry evening and people are just queer people showing you know their poetry i it i think those things are there for a reason now i'm just imagining like a straight person walking up to say hi guys i'm not straight but i'm gonna do my poem no I'm you've not... had all those opportunities yes let's you know that's like i just i know it's a simple example but i think it's knowing when to defend when to sit back and but when to listen yes when to listen when to act and stuff yeah. and i think that just comes from asking people and reading the situation yeah 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 i yeah i just think being an ally is giving people space yeah and that's, that's what this person is trying yes. to say so like yeah give people the space yeah don't take up space because mm. as mm. as mm. the non-oppressed group sometimes you can take up space try to give space yeah. have you guys ever like been out with like your straight girlfriends and yeah. then like you know like you're the queer one yeah. and then you guys get to like a place maybe it's okay. like a gay club all right and then you know they, they're coming to support because yes, they're an ally that's yes. nice okay so you guys are at it because you yeah. always at the straight clubs yes. so they better so come like, to you yeah <laughs> sorry yeah so yeah so you guys are there yeah. and then like they start kissing all ah! <laughs> so, baby you're straight maybe that's also what this person is trying to say don't try to always fire everywhere this was my <laughs> chance <laughs> Have a good night. Be my the... wing. Be my wing woman, bro. But you don't want to. Be. You want to be the center. Now you're telling everyone, you want to kiss the girl. <laughs> Baby, that's, if you're going through that, that's not your friend. <laughs> Get new friends. Ah, uh, guys, we have Zona. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know a lot of you that's happened to you. Yeah, let's. I know. It. Let's talk about it. Got any, got any comment thing? Let's vent. <laughs> the next one is more for question and not really. Um, and I think it's from an ally. Okay. They said, "Is it okay to ask when they realized their sexuality?" And for me, I will answer. I can't answer for every person. We're not answering for everyone. We're answering Someone for answer for myself and yeah. what I just think. Um, I think it's like we all have social skills. Some more than others obviously varies, but it's like we all understand and know the level of relationship we have with someone. Yeah. Some relationships are more intimate than others. Yeah. I feel like if I would ask my sibling that, um, I wouldn't ask a stranger. Yeah. I also wouldn't ask an acquaintance. I wouldn't ask someone I've just met. I think I would gauge the comfortability levels. And then, because when you know someone intimately and well, that's when you can know whether that question was comfortable for you. Yeah. Because there are people in my life where I know that question makes them uncomfortable. Because yeah. that's that's where they're at in their queer journey yeah. or their journey as a queer person. Yeah. So I, because I know them, so that's why if you don't know someone, please don't do that. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think also that question for me it carries a lot right mm. i think number one it carries the assumption that as soon as a kid is born they feel like they're straight and then at some point they're like oh, i'm not straight a so that's a person some some people from birth i've always felt like that and i just had to get this i don't want to use the word courage but get the courage just to live fully in it and then some people it was like through the conditionings of society thought that i'm straight and then i'm like oh actually i'm not right so i think it's also understanding that that question can land very differently to different people yeah. based on the experience but yeah. yeah i think i agree with you like if you don't know me why are you asking me mm, also why are you asking i think <laughs> if, you got, 
Give me yourself, ask yourself, yeah. why do why am I asking? Why also like why do I need to that? I'm really struggling stru- struggling to understand why that would be important. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm str- like maybe in the comments below and I know and I'm not like arguing with this person. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate dialogue. This is yeah. dialogue. My question is I'm struggling to see why that would be such a significant thing that you'd have to know about someone like Yeah. Why and that's why for me I yeah. feel like it's and the only I try to put myself in this person yeah. situation and want to know why. Yeah. I feel like I would want to know my cousin. I would ask my cousin yeah. this because I just feel like okay. because I know you intimately. Yeah. These are just natural intimate questions that you ask someone. No, yeah. Natural questions you ask someone you're very close to. Like okay. it just comes up. We're vulnerable together. Yeah. We like to know each other. We ask each other questions. Yeah. I'm just getting to know you. Okay. And that's the only reason I could think mm. this question would be relevant. I'm mm. trying to. I'm trying I, to I understand. Because my thing is, I feel like a better question would be like, okay, when did you start feeling comfortable? Like, what? It's like for me, I can tell you that I always felt like I wasn't straight, but it's only when I got to varsity that I started feeling comfortable in exploring that in that space. And then the question is, okay, what about that space? That's what I'm trying to understand. Mm. Like, that there's different ways to ask. Yes, yeah. and I think try and be specific or ask yourself before you ask that question. What are you actually asking? Yeah. What, what, what do you want to know? What do you know? What do you want to know? What do you want to yeah. know? And maybe be more direct in that because then that person can also then answer you the way you'd want to be answered. So yeah, asking a question, I think the the correct answer is always it depends. Truly, it depends. The next one is. We can't still be answering Abo, who is the woman or the man here. Yeah, be mindful and educated about your friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. Those are silly questions. <laughs> you play silly games, you, you get see? silly prizes. <laughs> that's from CX yeah. Online. And that's all? Period. So, those are silly questions. Um, those are offensive it. questions. Yeah. Just think a little bit before you ask questions. I think that is the moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's definitely, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can't, we can't. Um, and then this person continued and said, I get that they're learning or whatever, but these heteronormative questions. Yeah. 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 So again, I think if your question stems from a heteronormative box, awesome. throw it away. Yeah. Burn that question. Yeah. But I think it's, guys, it's very important, right? We, we are growing up, right? At 18, 19, you're growing up as a person, you're finding yourself, learn to ask what you're asking maybe the person is just like oh okay so in in society given that i'm in this um heterosexual relationship it's put on me to cook and clean and whatever just wondering how does it work with you guys how do you, do you guys, guys also have yeah. those kind of roles you get a, do you see that do you see that My, question you ask the same thing but it's so different <laughs> Intellect, it's so different. intellect, and it's so have, different. have a purpose. It must come from a place of care or and a place of wanting for compassion. Because sure, sure. some people will be like, I'm just asking a question, but you ask me a rude question. Honestly, you're being rude, actually. You know? You're actually being rude. <laughs> so I think let's also learn to ask questions delicately. Delicately, but have intellect. Think about what is it that I'm actually asking. My biggest advice to people is don't just speak for the sake of speaking. Silence because is it can is land you in some yeah. tricky situations. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Usaba. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just read this one and it's grating my yeah. tits. Okay. Um, this person said, stop using the in front of your words and using LGBTQAI as adjectives. For example, yeah. the transgenders. <laughs> you can't do that. You you can't still be doing that in 2022. You're lying to me. That transgender, is it? Who's that? The gays. Who are you talking to? But it's also Who are you talking to? Only I feel like only some queer people are fine with referring to themselves. No, no, no. As that. When queer people are when saying it to each other, time, oh, we're the gays. But it's a term, but that's, <laughs> those are terms of endearment, and those are things that we've decided we're doing to each other, as you know. Mm. So it can't be. Mm. That, that's different. Mm. But in yeah, some mm. heterosexual cis white man or I heterosexual mean, cis person, I it mean, doesn't matter. I think mean, the transgenders. The gays. No, it's like saying that. the N word or don't the K do, word. Don't do that. Don't do that. The Please gays. The, the it's, ends. But it's weird. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if this also creates other people's tits, but it's like 
and even when people be like oh yeah i was with a transgender uh, and <laughs> it's, it's not okay it's like it's a transgender person okay yeah you don't say that transgenders or a, a transgender like so their weird. being transgender is not the entire yeah. being okay they're a person who is transgender yeah. okay that's yeah but I'm i think gonna... just to add on to that like sometimes i'll hear how people speak and I, in my head i'm like did i have to know that the, that person was transgender no. like in this context was it, it depends on the context you know to know that yesterday you went to the club and then when you walked in there were two gay men at the door and they were dancing to Beyonce's alien superstar. Like I'm just trying to understand. Like sometimes I just question like it why must, it must be relevant yeah, to the conversation. Why? Otherwise you're just dehumanizing people. Yeah. Like, and it's like obviously if you're on a on a panel yeah. <laughs> about the UCT yeah, transgender <laughs> committee, then, and then you're like, yeah, transgender people yeah, yeah. I think it's relevant. But, or when people are talking about their sexualities and their yeah. experiences, I just think yeah, that is relevant. Because sometimes but when you throw it in just for fun, you're being weird. Right? It's yeah, it's because for me then I start questioning like, hmm, I feel like there's a bit of homophobia because why did that thing stick to your brain so much? We go through life and well, our eyes and then our senses register so much. So for me, when that thing holds on, it's it it may it get red flag. Yeah, me. I think you've dehumanized that yeah. person. You just see them as that. Yeah, That's the entire identity. Da, uh, oh, uh, you are Don't do that. Mm -hmm. People no. will not take kindly. Uh -huh. I, I really think that's it. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's it. That's a long video. Yeah. About just being queer, our experiences, being better allies. Being better allies. Yeah. Being better allies. Yeah, and I think that's just something all of us um, should work on, obviously. And Even obviously, as queer all of, people. Yeah, all yeah. of us are obviously a work in progress. Yeah. And I think that's something to put your energy into, like mm. being a better ally. It's something to really work on. Yeah. Um, and yo, no, yo, ah, yo. Thank you guys so much for watching and for staying to this point. Yo. Yes. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you resonated with something. Yeah. We hope you learned something. Yes. And your. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the story time. Yes. There's a lot to <laughs> unpack in the comments. Unpack it below. Yeah. And yeah, watch out for our next video. Okay. Bye.